Welcome back to Rediscover the Verde Valley. Again, my name is Christian Oliva Del Rio, and I'm the president and CEO for the Cottonwood Chamber. With me this afternoon, I've got uh, Mark Tufty with Foothills Bank. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Christian. Yeah, so um, Foothills Bank, for those that have not seen the big signs come in and everything, it used to be state bank and country bank originally, right? That's correct. Yeah, yeah. So, Country Bank's been in our community for quite some time, um, quite a few years. Tell us. It has. Uh, so, you know, we were originally Country Bank, and we were Country Bank for uh, right around eight years, mm -hmm. and then we merged with a bank called Mojave State Bank, right. uh, which was another small community bank just like ours, mm -hmm. and it Im increased our footprint so our customers could travel a little bit more and still be able to be served by our customer, right. by our bank. Then we merged on March 30th of this year. Oh no. <laughs> with Foothills Bank, so that was quite the experience. You couldn't have picked a better time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And so what's nice is Foothills Bank has this belief of allowing its brands to be independent and operate mm -hmm. as community banks, mm -hmm. but provides us the resources of a larger bank. It's a $13 billion parent company. Right. So we get the resources that that offers us. So uh, that part's been really, really nice mm -hmm. and beneficial to us. Right. So Mark, tell me a little bit about yourself. So you've been in the Verde Valley for how long? Just about? I've been here about, about 13 years. Right, right. So actually that's right when I started with the chamber. So mm -hmm. I think that's when we may have first met. And you've been in banking for, for quite some time. Over you? 20 years. Wow, yeah. 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 You like numbers or something or just money? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like the experience of, of the numbers, but also helping people understand those numbers right yes so. uh, and that's a big part of it uh, you know um, y you guys are offering uh, some pretty great deals for our locals as well right uh, through Foothills Bank um, you've got some no-cost uh, checking accounts and business accounts uh, that's correct so uh, we actually call them they're actually called totally free totally checking free, yeah. and that's for businesses and for personal mm -hmm. customers so if you if you're getting a service charge for your personal checking account or for your business right Switching to us allows you to have a free account, so you have instant savings mm -hmm. just like that. Yeah, so that's excellent. It's a really great opportunity for yeah. people. So tell us a little bit more about you and your family. So like you said, so 13 years you've been here, you've got, you've got kids in school and all that. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's funny. I, I, got, I, I arrived to the Verde Valley right before the housing right. crashed, uh, and it was amazing for me to see the resiliency of our community, mm -hmm. how they they struggled through it, but you know we we survived it, mm -hmm. and you can see that today we're you know we're 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 fighting right now, right? But you can see that they're they're they're, they're working hard and they're going to make it through. Uh, on a personal note, my wife's a teacher at the school district, yeah, and I have a daughter that's uh, an incoming freshman, or she, you know this mm -hmm. is her first year at the high school. Mm -hmm. Um, we've really enjoyed the river. The river's been a wonderful yeah. thing for us to, to either go kayaking or just, you know, swim mm -hmm. around in. Uh, right. And we love the fact that you're, you know, a short distance, an hour away from Prescott, Flagstaff, right. Phoenix. We really live in a wonderful community. We do. The heart of the Verde Valley and the heart of Arizona wine country, right? Those Absolutely. are our slogans. So, um, you know, and, and, and that's something that has always kind of struck me with, with, with you and Country Bank, uh, at the, you know, the Chamber Banks with we started with Country Bank and now with Foothills, is that it is a community bank. It is a local bank. It's 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 like cheers when you walk in and everybody yeah, that's right. <laughs> waves to you, you know? And and I really love that. So you've got a really special team that works for you there. Can you yes, I have a team of all-stars. Uh, I've been fortunate that a lot of my te team has been with me the full 13 years. Right. I have Orlando, who's uh -huh. been with me 13 years. Wonderful guy, great listener. Right. Uh, Susie Contreras, who's been mm -hmm. with me for 13 years. Another one of those ones that is all about customer service. Mm -hmm. Rebecca Hernandez, right. 13 years, yeah. all about taking care of the customers. And then I've been fortunate enough to add some more, yeah. you know, basically refresh my all-stars, and I added Danielle Lodmel right. in December, and that's been a, just an amazing pickup for mm -hmm. us. She's just a wonderful person in yeah. general. Right. And then I have two young, what I would call all rookies, yeah. and they just joined us. It's their first year in banking, but they're so passionate, and they're working so hard. Mm -hmm. I'm just really, really excited about what we have going. That's excellent. Yeah, I love it. And like I said, it's it's always friendly and welcoming in there. And you know, and, and I, I think I may have shared with you the other day is that you're all-star team. So Susie, every time I call the bank, she's asking me when I'm going to come in. <laughs> 
in and <laughs> sign up for my free account, that's you know? It, that's and it. yeah, so, uh, you know, I love that, that, uh, you know, you're, you're, us as locals coming in and, and feeling at home and knowing that our money's in a safe place. And, and then uh, you offer other services and, and, and do other great things in our community too through the bank, don't you? Yeah. Uh, share some of that. So, uh, you know, f for example, I, I personally stepped up during the payroll protection plan. Right. And I helped fund over 150 of those mm -hmm. for over $10 million for our Verde Valley. Right. And that was people from Camp Verde, Sedona, Cottonwood. Uh, I, you know, I, I opened the bank on Saturdays and Sundays so that I could help them and get yeah. those processes as fast as possible. Um, and then in addition to that, we allow nonprofits to set up in the branch when mm -hmm. the lobby's open mm -hmm. to j just get them recognition, let people know that, hey, there's a service that's available. Sure. Maybe you didn't know about it and it could be beneficial to you or your family member. Right. And then I get involved in the community. You, right. you can't be a community bank without community. Right. And so th either through the Rotary Club or mm -hmm. different efforts, we do a lot of things. One of the things that we do is financial literacy. We sponsor financial literacy for several of the schools in our district. Yeah. Mingus Union High School is one of them. And then uh, MVP school mm -hmm. receives it, Clarkdale receives it, and we pay for that program so that those kids get access to yeah. financial literacy. It's it's important. Uh, so many kids are are, are not um, literate when it comes to understanding right. their finances and what you know what is it going to be like when I graduate and I've got my own job and checking account and, and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah. And I, I've heard a lot of people think that we should uh, get rid of some or or more of a social s uh, studies type class into a life skills type class that includes right. that stuff. So. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's it's not just those um, community connections and everything. You're always thinking outside the box. Uh, we were just having a conversation this morning, you and I, about you know the possibility of working with the high school and the graphic medias, right? right. And you know, there's there there are a lot of great <clears throat> ways for our community and our business community to to come together and and work with the high school. So, yeah. um, looking forward to hopefully that panning out, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> There's just so much talent in the Verde Valley that we need to capitalize on mm -hmm. and, and, you know, bring people together. And that's yeah. where I think the Chamber can really step in. I, I think, for me, with the Chamber, these last couple months have really tr truly shown how important the Chamber mm -hmm. is by providing that information, you know, mm -hmm. there was just so much going on and mm -hmm. people were struggling for where do I get this information? Mm -hmm. And the chamber was just constantly pushing that information out to all the members. Yeah. And, you know, it's, you know, it gives you some sense of calm when you know that, okay, I can rely upon this source to help feed me that information right. and I can figure out where I'm going. Right, thank you, thank you for saying that. Um, you know, it was, it was kind of a confusing time there for mm -hmm. sure and, and and we were lucky enough being the chamber that we were included in that loop and uh, so we were getting a lot of those guidelines and stuff from the state uh, so it made it a little bit easier to get it out but you're right, you know, a lot of people didn't know really where to turn and um, I'm glad that we could provide that service so. Um, so you've been on our board for quite a while. <laughs> it's like yeah. twice you've served, I right? Have. Twice. I, I so. was on the board, came off, and then I came back on. Yeah. yeah. And, and and you're running again. I what, am. What's the matter I with am. you? <laughs> <laughs> I said the same thing to Michael earlier. It's like, you know, did I twist your arm enough? And can I twist it a little bit more, maybe get you on an officer seat? But <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, I think part of it is with all that's going on right now, mm -hmm the chamber is, is gonna become even more important mm -hmm. and is gonna really, you know, what I hope to see is that we're really gonna continue to be that business resource right. and, and, you know, see where we can expand upon that so that we can truly help all those businesses as they're navigating this tough time. Because yeah. we need everybody. We do. And, mm -hmm. you know, if, if, if people aren't losing jobs, then they're able to shop. And if mm -hmm. they're shopping, then the other businesses are doing well. Right. So uh, I'm just really, that's where my focus is, and I'm yeah. really excited to see what the chamber can do, mm -hmm. and I want to be a part of that. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, and, and I think that was part of my arm twisting with you mm -hmm. was that um, you've got a unique perspective, um, you know, when you come in and, and working with us on the board, and. Um, it, 
you may not be vocal all the time, but when, when you speak, <laughs> there's generally some really good thought behind it and, and some really good ideas or solutions. So um, I, I think you're a valuable asset to our, to our team as well. And, and you know, and you're out there in the community and, and, and making those connections and, and that helps us to see that different angle. So um, some of the areas, you, again, you want us to, to expand and grow on is being, you know, as far as resources and whatnot for, for the community okay. and the business community. Um, PPP, you've been working a lot with that. And um, is there going to be a fourth phase of that? Have you heard anything? You know, um, it's hard to say what Congress will do. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the last present or last form of it uh, included another round of it, mm -hmm. although it was going to have some new rules attached to it. So, for example, if you had already received the PPP, in order to get another round of it, you would have to demonstrate that you have truly been financially impacted and you'd have to right. provide financials to show that. Uh, if you had not received it in the first round, mm -hmm. then it would be the same way as it was in the first round for you to apply. Okay. Uh, what was really exciting or what we're really hoping will take place is that they talked about an automatic forgiveness provision. Right. And that would be for payroll protection plan loans of 150000 or less. Okay. That would be really exciting. It uh, would. You know, for me, I'm looking at the portfolio that I did, mm -hmm. and I probably had 20 out of 150 that right. exceeded that limit. Right. So for a lot of those companies, that takes one thing off their plate. It is. You know, that's huge for a mom and pop shop that, uh, you know, is barely making it, struggling how Correct. we're going to figure out how to make it to the next phase. And, and yeah, that would help yeah. tremendously, right? Wonderful program, right. really helpful to them. Mm -hmm. But the paperwork and all that stuff can be cumbersome at the end. Mm -hmm. So if we can make that an automatic forgiveness, mm -hmm. right. that's just wonderful for right. those business owners. And I think that also leads to them being able to do that next round yeah. of funding is if they can clean house of mm -hmm. those smaller loans sure. and move on. Okay. That's great. So uh, did, you, did you work with the EIDLs or anything like that? Uh, you were primarily helping people with PPPs. PPP. So the right? EIDL was directly through SBA, so mm -hmm. we didn't have a a part in that, right. uh, but we tried to push people to that because the EIDL offered really great terms. It was mm -hmm. a low interest rate, depending on what type of an organization you were. Mm -hmm. uh, could be 3.75 down to 2.75, right. fixed for up to 30 years. Right. Wonderful terms. Yeah. Uh, let's let's uh, express what is the EIDL emergency? It's the Economic Injury Disaster uh, Loan. There program. we go. And then the PPP is uh, pay. Uh, Payroll Protection, protection plan. Program okay. plan. Yes. <laughs> okay. A lot of acronyms. Uh, right, but that's good for people to know. Maybe uh, we always are talking in acronyms, sure. so we got to clear that up for them. So, um, yeah. So, um, if somebody needed some help with that stuff, uh, you could potentially be a resource for them. Um, Absolutely. Right? You know, and we're very fortunate. You you can come to me. I obviously I'm always checking in with what the chamber mm -hmm. puts out. Uh, I also check to see what the Small Business Development Center puts mm -hmm. out. And those are really, if you're a business owner, those those two resources are, are things that you'd want to have on your forefront because right. they're feeding you a lot of information mm -hmm. um, because there are so many programs. And USDA is another organization similar to Small Business Administration mm -hmm. that's rolling out a lot of programs. Right. And there's some upcoming webinars that they're putting on. Right. Very uh, helpful. Yeah. And can be amazing for customers. Mm -hmm. uh, the most recent one that I found exciting and, and that you know yeah. about is if you're a bar right. with a six or a seven, seven license, mm -hmm. here's some ideas on how to get yourself reopened without having to actually right. have your own kitchen running. Right. Uh, that to me is a great webinar and mm -hmm. a great resource. Right. Um, so I'm excited about those types of things. Yeah. Uh, so I, I hopefully if you're a business sitting back, you're watching mm -hmm. and you're like, oh man, make sure I become a chamber member right. and get on that that list of uh, information from the SBDC. Absolutely. So it's uh, cottonwoodchamberaz.org. And uh, Mark, we've, we've reached the end of our time in oh, this segment. Wonderful. I know. <laughs> it goes by too fast. I yes. could sit and talk to you all day, buddy. Yeah. Um, sure do appreciate your time. I, I appreciate your commitment to our community and, uh, and the chamber. And I'm looking forward to you getting reelected to our board. We'll see. Hopefully. <laughs> Vote for Mark, everyone. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.